Today I'd like to show you the difference between tabs and sections in CRM. First of all, on the account, we, by default, we have a summary tab, and then we also have a details tab. And you can see these are slightly different fonts and bolder than anything else that you see on the form. And they're, they also are, um, they appear to be hyperlinks because you can see I can click on them. So when I click on them, I actually hide my details underneath the section. So you can see I have a summary tab and a details tab. If I click on it, I can expand the information underneath each of these tabs. So we have a company profile section, a marketing section, a billing section, and a shipping section. And these are important because they actually dictate how um, the system tabs through. So you can see I'm tabbing through my different sections in order. If I had had a section with two columns, I would have tabbed through for example, if these two sections were merged, I would have tabbed through here and then gone over to here and tabbed through. Then I would have gone down in my description rather than going straight through the bottom. Let's show you this on the form really fast. So here you can see inside the body, I have a tab that is summary. Let's go down to details because you'll see this a little bit better because there are multiple sections. So I have a tab which is details with a little caret so I can expand it and I can collapse it and then I have a section called company profile and I have a section called marketing and a section called billing and a section called shipping. I can click in the white space next to my tab and you can see my dotted line turns solid blue and I'm able to change the properties of my tab with a different label, slightly different formatting with more columns inside of it and events related specifically to that tab. Inside the section I can do the same thing if I click on it I can go to my change properties and I have my section properties with my labels and my widths. On the fly I can change the number of columns inside of a section and this gets a little squishy here because we have collapsed the first column um, and added a second column on the field inside of a section I can tell it to take up two columns inside of my section. You can see three columns and four columns aren't an option because my section is actually only two columns wide but I could go to two columns and you can see now my currency is taking up both but I could have credit hold and credit limit next to each other. Let's say they were just yes no check boxes. I could pack a lot of information into a section and not crunch things too badly.